Hello. So in this video I'm going to uh, demonstrate two things. One is how to use the grid and to place the figure within a scene. And two is some um, how we might uh, use the spaces made by, um, say, his arms here. There's two spaces in between, and between his legs too. So we'll just, um, I'm not concerning myself with any uh, detail at the moment. So I just want to show you uh, how we can use, that comes over there a bit more, how we can use the um, the spaces and the that crosses over there. Okay, now you see I've got this on a grid divided into thirds and all the way ready I can show you that that little part there we can see that triangle and if we can duplicate that triangle uh, we'll be um, getting close to to getting it right from the start and there's another triangle there so already it's starting to um, I'm able to show you how we can use those um, those spaces. I just draw a straight line across there and then his neck is about there, his collar and it's a pretty straight on picture so we can see that we've got um, <clears throat> we've got the um, uh, it's a pretty easy pose. I just wanted to show you how we these how we can use these two elements uh, the hands about halfway down as I said no detail yet this one's slightly higher okay and we can see that that elbow just goes slightly over the line and comes down to the uh, at, a, at an angle like so this one is as I said before a little bit lower um, just slightly over the line and coming in at about there We'll just block in his head a bit here. Okay, so so far so good. Um, he's wearing a suit. Uh, we might just put this this in now. Now I'm going to check this space here, and I can see that it's just cutting into his head there. I'll just uh, try and reshape that slightly. Yes, yeah, so it's just coming in about there. If we take a vertical line like so, we can see where that where that part of his um, his torso is, and coming down, um, the leg is about in here, about about there. It just comes slightly out at the hips, and this one, <clears throat> he's he's standing pretty evenly balanced on his legs too. We can see that. Okay, so that's there. This comes out just a bit. Now, here's a classic example of how we can try and duplicate that space. Now, I've understated it there. It should go slightly up from where I first put it. So we don't uh, we don't really notice all these things until we started drawing and focusing. Okay, so just come down from that line about there and this space here we'll construct it. Now when I say space, I'm, the, the arm and the torso are making that, sh that space and we try to uh, look at that rather than looking at um, rather than looking at the, the arm just look at the space, focus your attention on the space and comes down to there just slightly inside of that line sleeve is about here I mean these things will change we'll, I'm not at the refining stage yet but this is the stage you want to aim for now I'll, um, I'll do a horizontal line going across immediately like so and we'll see how far down is that and it's it's about here. So vertical lines are really helpful going up like so to see where things are and horizontal lines going like so. But the two main things I want to show you is how this grid can uh, can help us and it helps us very much in um, when, we, when we're drawing uh, say an illustration for a picture book something like that. 
we can use the grid to to um, to our advantage. We can draw do a small drawing on a smaller grid, and then draw up. Okay, now this is where the uh, final part comes. You've got a shoe there, and it's going ever so slightly, ever so slightly to the right as we come up. Okay, so it comes up to about there. Looking at that space just in there for his um, his uh, pants, just to that line. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, and it's coming over a bit closer to this blue line here. Now you may wonder why I'm using blue, and uh, the reason is uh, we in illustration if we're illustrating something and we don't want the camera to see it when it's published or printed it won't uh, it won't recognize the blue okay that uh, she was pointing pretty much straight ahead this one's coming across right like so and this is a bit wider Okay, now think of this as an inverted e, uh, V, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we, we want to see this as a, an upside down V. And I'm going to now take a vertical line. I want to check that more accurately now. We've got most of it down. So we can see that's where the other hand should be. Uh, we might, sorry, before we go on, I might just do this space to just just approximately uh, that arm comes out a bit further it's a bit um, wrinkled because of the position of his arms but still we can see it okay so it's it's um, like so and we can see that 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 space comes down further than this space that's uh, pretty easy to see okay so we've got most of it down now I'm going to start refining it and what we do is I want to find the absolute position of this foot okay so I'm going to take a vertical line like so and see where it intersects up here so we're using a vertical line which follows through to see where it uh, where it is so when you um, when you do this it's um, it's uh, very important to uh, close your eye, close your left eye, if you like. I might refine this head a little bit now so that I can um, make sure I'm hitting the right spot when I see where it intersects. Okay, so something like that. He's got a nice head of hair, this guy. And uh, he's a Japanese, what they call a salary man, like a an office worker or something like that. Okay, so that seems okay. It seems okay. Right. Okay, I'm going to take that vertical line and see where it intersects. Yes, okay. So it actually intersects about here. Okay, so I did make it too, uh, too far over. It intersects about there. Double check. Uh, slightly out just there you can check it looking which either side of the pencil if you like to see what happens about there coming straight down yeah it, it's about there okay so I'm not going to super refine this but I just want to see the angle of that shoe and this shoe here is slightly slightly higher Okay, um, I'll just use a line here to, for the, for this um, this shoe. It doesn't touch the line. Okay, now we can take a vertical line from here, from where his pants are. I'll just put them in a little bit lower, and they kind of there's a gentle curve there. Okay, I can see that how it is in relation to that so I, I might do that as well okay and I'm taking the vertical line from 
this point up yes right okay it it that vertical line going through following through up to about here okay so just but just pretty right okay of course we'll do fine tweaking later on but uh, just for now we want to make sure that our proportions and our positions are correct okay so clearly we're going to use that point there take a vertical line see what it does and look on the left side of your pencil just ever so slightly this mightn't be quite right it might be just a bit on the big side I think okay and straight up yeah, yeah. okay so it's it's about here uh, there I'm not sure about that no I don't think so double check yeah no it's there because um while I'm still looking at while I'm looking at this vertical line where it intersects up here um, I'm I'm very conscious of this space here now this one I'll just refine this a bit this goes almost vertically and just at the last minute it just tucks over a little bit right um, so this one slants across okay just refine that a bit this is almost vertical this one's slanting across there okay now I want to know am I in the right spot here what can I do so I look at it in relation to the hands look at look at this point here I know it's not refined yet but look at the angle from there to there and see if yours is the same uh, I'll look from that sleeve if you like I'll just refine it a bit okay just ever so slightly in sorry I want to confuse you there ever so slightly in I'll look from this point over to here and see if I'm right okay comes down at that angle okay just uh, like so we're looking at that this point to this point pretty right okay you can do the same thing on this side okay so we uh, we can just check that sleeve there see where it is in relation to this one okay so it's just there and right look from this point to here same thing we're going to go in other words we're going to put our pencil in line with that good I think it's right right okay this one comes I'm going to look at this leg in relation to the other leg okay it seems to to swell out here okay and then because he's he's standing very straight with his legs so it goes out there this one is different so um, it's fairly evenly divided in terms of weight distribution but uh, I, I like the idea of this slanting out so we think that that position is right not a hundred percent yet never make your mind up don't lock in to anything too soon you know it's not the super refining we're just juggling around trying to find where everything is and approximate it of course later on I have to say that you know I'm drawing using a grid and and I do recommend using the grid because of um, the fact that it it helps you to draw up especially if you're interested in illustration or children's work anything like that manga uh, you want to be able to um, to do small drawings um, and then draw, and do several small drawings you can fit about four uh, rectangles on this page and then um, draw up to uh, a larger a larger size that way you um, 
that way you're getting uh, plenty of opportunity to to uh, experiment on the same design you f you'll find new ideas pop into your head and uh, you'll experiment uh, with, not just with them um, with the design the composition but you'll also experiment with um, with uh, color etc and tone okay uh, I want to just make sure that that is coming at the right position and it looks to me pretty right if I just look at that in relation to that looks pretty right to me um, it's uh, up slightly slightly there yes I can see something I need to adjust there and that's the way that comes so I want to check that angle before I do anything I want to check that, uh, that I'm right Yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll just draw through here. Might be a bit out there. Okay. As I say, just uh, be prepared to to always change. Look at this. Um, look at that little triangle. That might help us a bit more too. Let's see if we can equal that shape. I might be a bit high. Something needs to be adjusted there. Uh, you may not be able to see it in the image but um, he's got some fantastic um, drapery uh, lines which we'll have fun with later. Right, okay. Is this up high enough? Okay, I'm going to just have to double check uh, a few more things. Getting there. Just put the, uh, just underneath his hand there is where his suit um, coat goes across and pops across here too. That hand's got to come up a bit higher, I suspect. Yeah, okay. Okay. 